Have you ever seen an AI animation that felt too good to be just a guess? Whoa, the Jeep's stuck, but I bet it's gonna surprise us. What? It's shaking, oh man. Using the one two image to video model, I created an AI animation that questions everything you believe you know about motion. So in this video, I'll not only show how to install the one two video models, but I'll also turn a single still frame into a living breathing sequence. And if you stay to the end, I'll show you how to combine these clips into a compelling story proving that AI isn't just a tool, it's a storyteller. So let's download all the video required models for one two from the Hugging Face page. First open the Clip Vision folder, then download the model here and place it into Comfy UI, go to Models, Clip Vision as I have mine here. Next open the Diffusion Models folder. There are quite a few models here so depending on your system, uh, download either the 4080p FP8 model or the 720 resolution FP8 model. Click to download and save this in Comfy UI under models, go to the diffusion folder, then save this here. Next, go to the text encoder folder, download the FP8 version here, which is a bit smaller and uh, this still works good. So open the text encoders folder to save this. Let's go back, open the VAE folder as well download the one VAE model here, then save it in Comfy UI again, come down to models, then VAE folder. I have already downloaded this. After downloading each of these models, restart Comfy UI to properly identify all the models. Make sure you are using the latest version. If not, go ahead to update Comfy UI if needed. The first node we need, we go to advanced, loaders, load diffusion model. Select the diffusion model we downloaded earlier. For mine, this will be the 720 video model. The next node, we go back to advanced, loaders, and select load clip. Select the clip model we downloaded here as well, which is the T5XXL FP8. Then change the type here to one. Next, we need the usual VAE node, a loaders, then also select load VAE. We have to change the VAE model, then select one, two VAE, which we also downloaded. So we need the clip text and code node for our positive prompt. I'll change the color to green, then duplicate this, which will be the negative prompt as usual, then connect the clip into the negative here. Next, drag out the model, then select K sampler to make a connection. Let's zoom into the load VAE here. I'll go ahead to use the Anything Everywhere node, then link this to the node and automatically connect to any VAE connection we might have. Moving on, let's move to the K-Sampler on the right. I'll drag the latent from the K-Sampler, then select VAE Decode. Now double click on the canvas and search for Video Combine. This is from the Video Helper Suite, then connect the VAE Decode. Let's change the default settings in here. I'll use a frame rate of 16. Uh, the file name, let's use one for now. I'll also change the format here to H264. I'll zoom out from here, then I'll place these nodes into a group. Let's do this for the second group as well. So let's add the workflow for the image we want to transform. I'll move down to the canvas. Uh, let's add a node, we go to image, select load image. I'll drag the character here, which I generated earlier with flat. Now we need to encode this into the latent space first. Uh, we go to conditioning, then we choose clip, vision, and code. Connect the load image into this node. Let's drag out the clip vision output from here. Go to search, then choose the clip vision node. This will automatically be connected. Next, select the clip model we downloaded earlier for one here as well, which is clip vision H. If you have this set to center, make sure to change this to none. Moving on, I'll suggest you use a resize node here so you can always adjust any image size to the video recommendations for one. Then connect the load image into the image resize node. I'll change mine to 960 by 480 just to have a faster generation. Let's also place these nodes into a group. Then I'll zoom out from the canvas and let's see how to link all the groups together. To do this, we first need a video conditioning model. Select conditioning, video models, then select the one image to video node. 
I'll move this app before the case sampler, then let's make the connections. The positive prompt will go into the positive, the negative prompt will go into the negative as well. The VAE will be linked already using the everywhere node. Clip vision output will link from the clip vision and code node. Also drag the resize image output into the start image like so. Then we connect all of this back into the case sampler. Include this node into the group. Let's enter a positive prompt to see the video generation we might have from one. I usually use ChatGPT to generate various motions. This is the prompt I use. Then I'll copy any of this, go back to Comfy UI. I'll paste this in here as our positive prompt. For the negative, I'll use a generic negative prompt. Going to the one node, make sure to adjust the width and the height here to match the resized image. The length will be the duration of the video, so I'll use something less for a quick preview. Next, let's update the case sampler settings. I'll use the random seed here. As usual, let's change this to be fixed. I'll also use CFG of 6. For the sampler and scheduler, this is important. Use the UniPC sampler, which is highly recommended. Then change the scheduler here to simple. Now I'll zoom out from here and we have a complete workflow. This was all easy, right? So let's kill prompt if everything works using the 1-2 video model so far. The first initial process to run will load the models, so be patient since this will take some time. And I'm going to skip the waiting time for us to see the final video results. Alright, so this is done. We can see everything was linked up correctly. And now we have a character animation just by using a single frame. And the quality here is just outstanding from one. Now, if you want to use any of the GG models, depending on your VRAM size, go onto the page here. And these are all 480 resolution quantized models. So download any from here, depending on the size you want. Then save this into the same directory and a comfy UI, go down to models, diffusion models folder. Back to the workflow, everything remains the same, but you have to use the unit loader GGUF node instead of the load diffusion model. Then you select the GGUF model, whichever one you downloaded. After that, you connect this the same way into the case sampler. And to install the custom node for GGUF, you can see my previous videos where I explain how to do all of this from scratch. Now moving on and back to the workflow, following the exact same technique, I use the same process and workflow for my second character as well. Then make sure to update the prompt. Next, go ahead to kill prompt and this will generate your video output. And I like the waterfall in the background. I did the same for this rusty Jeep image as well and I got this from the video generation. Now, have you ever put together clips created by AI and they seem to develop a story naturally? Let's see how to combine these videos into a short story. I'll import my three clips into Premiere Pro, then I use Grok3 to generate a simple dialogue script for the characters. After that, you can use any text to video feature to create the talking dialogue. And in my case, I used 11 laughs with free credits to achieve this. To match the voices, you can record yourself acting the roles to get some facial expressions onto the characters. For this, you could use either live portrait, but I used Runways Act 1. There are many tools to achieve the same results, so see what works best for you. And following that, using an editing software, you can join the finalized clips together. I have some sound effects as well in the background using the Atlas library to just combine everything into the same atmosphere with sound. And you can find all these amazing sound effects from their platform. So after a few more tweaks and editing, I'll go ahead to export this and let's see the final blockbuster. Whoa, the Jeep's stuck, but I bet it's gonna surprise us. What? It's shaking. Oh man, it's driving itself. So all this is just amazing. And although this process was simple, the only drawback is that one tool's generating speed is a little slow. But this depends on your system resources as well. I hope you guys are inspired to come up with some short movie ideas and remember to leave a like as always. If you enjoyed this video, you can view more of my other videos and I'll see all of you in the next one.